So here we are, January 2020. We just start to get things ready. First full year, so many growing. I'd be a lot. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm not an expert or I'm not claiming to be an expert. Uh, I have been growing in my back garden for the last three or four years, but uh, this is going to be a bit of a step up for me. Uh, a lot more variety of uh, veggies and fruits to grow. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've never grown before, so it should be interesting. Uh, I may make a few mistakes, but uh, it's one of them. I'm not too bothered about it. Uh, I'll learn the lesson as we go along. Right, so I'm going to be talking a bit about uh, what plans I've got for this month and uh, what areas of the plot I need to be working on and also what sowed, uh, seeds I plan to sow in January. Right then, I've just started to uh, clean this area up a bit now. So I had the uh, cabbages there and uh, I had some carrots over there which I've just pulled up now. And I've still got some spring onions there. And uh, the other, the rest of my carrots. So yeah, get this cleaned up. And then uh, stop on what's going here. So here we are, uh, these are what I planted uh, when I first got on the plot in June. Uh, not the best, nothing special, but you know, it's better than nothing I suppose. So now the spring onions are out, I'm going to tidy the rest of this area, this whole square. And I plan on using this for the uh, leeks and onions, and they're gonna, just going to go across. I'm going to keep them all in line with these. Uh, I have on a border, uh, probably make it into a raised bed maybe, but I've tidied that up a bit, still needs a bit of weeding in there, but I'm hoping this is going to be big enough uh, to do pumpkins, probably not, but if I can get a couple out of them, I'll be happy. There we go, that's that area tidied off, by the spring onions and the carrots, uh, there you go, it's all gone. quick inside view of the polytunnel which is a total mess at the moment uh, but I'll show you anyway I've put some shelves in made out of uh, two pallets well one pallet that I just cut in half and I've just run it all the way along and also at the back here we go and just planks on the two poles either side and I made myself a little potting station and that Seed box, which I've got loads of seeds to sort out. What to do? There's my supplies. Oh, I've just got like another tin in here. Seeds, seeds, seeds. Then they all need sorting. Right, so I've had a little tidy round in the polytunnel. And I've managed to get these seeds sorted with the help of my beautiful wife. If you're watching this, thank you, baby. Uh, I think we've both got a touch of OCD. That's never a bad thing. Yeah, so I have got seeds that I plan to sow this month in January uh, leeks, onions, spinach, strawberries, I believe you can do tomatoes, uh, broccoli. Cabbages, red and white, I think I've got both in there. 
and I'm pretty sure that you can do uh, chilies and peppers as well. But we'll give it a go and see what happens. Right, so I've sown my seeds and the plan is to wrap them up in this fleece. Hopefully that will keep it warm enough to germinate. That's the plan anyway. I don't know if it'll work. I don't see why not. But yeah, so. Right, that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I did get most of the jobs that needed doing done for this month. Uh, I do plan on uploading another video, uh, say early February, maybe late January. So uh, until then, thanks for watching. See you later.